hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion with uh, the concepts the basic introductory concepts related to television engineering so far we have discussed about the basic principle of uh, uh, transmission and reception in television the tv transmitter and receptor the basic introductory concepts in short you, the block diagram and all also we have discussed about the various characteristics of uh, image the picture frame such as intensity aspect ratio uh, brightness tonal gradation contrast all of the pixelation everything and uh, in this video we are going to discuss about another important concept uh, related to color television also we can apply it in uh, the monochrome uh, black and white but still uh, related to the color television which is the color characteristics from the point of view of television engineering we are not going to discuss about color in general but how it is related to television only those things so let us start so we know that light is a form of visible electromagnetic energy and the two most important properties visible properties or visible characteristics of light that has an impact in day to day lives why we are able to see various objects around us with different colors or colorful world it is because of the two important properties which is intensity and color or wavelength different wavelengths uh, corresponding to each you know the characteristics of each object it absorbs certain wavelength emits certain wavelength that's why we are able to see objects with different colors so intensity we have already discussed about luminous intensity luminance color is basically because of objects absorbing certain wavelength of uh, light light radiation and emitting certain radiation so it is because of those emitted radiations the wavelength of the emitted radiation it gives specific color characteristics now we know that white light is made off of seven constituent colors so the prism experiment it splits white light into seven constituent colors so violet indigo blue green yellow orange red and uh, this property can be also uh, again we discussed it in the persistence of vision that uh, that when we see an object it uh, holds an impression on our eyes for 60 millisecond so that is utilized to form the newton disc which is again made up of the seven constituent colors and when it is rotated at a very high speed so that the persistence of vision it is it becomes less than 60 millisecond it appears as if the whole disc is white now the factors that affect color characteristics and we are talking it from from the point of view of electronics electrical and electronics it depends on the atomic structure of the material okay that is why the various objects they absorb certain wavelengths because of their atomic structure and they emit certain radiations wavelength radiations from the point of view of electronics that we used to generate color in television uh phosphor elements the fluorescent screen they emit different colors depending on the composition of phosphor and the modern technology light emitting diodes forward biased semiconductor diodes when 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 a semiconductor diode with certain characteristics it forward biased it emits colors of different radiations depending on its composition for example gallium arsenide phosphide led it gives red light gallium phosphide led it emits orange light it's actually not orange more of a reddish light reddish thing but still it's orange light gallium indium phosphide led it emits green light so because of their own uh, you know composition the chemical composition of the diode the uh, 
characteristics the atomic structure they emit suitable uh, radiations okay of different wavelengths which gives them the specific color characteristics now in television there is a concept of primary and secondary colors or complementary colors so primary colors they there are only three base colors we can say and all the other complementary colors when they are mixed in appropriate proportions they give us the complementary colors okay so the three primary colors are red green and blue they are normally represented by rgb but okay we'll discuss it uh, when we go into the uh, no all that section for discussion here we are just discussing the basics <coughs> sorry so the three primary colors red green and blue they are the base colors and all the other colors <coughs> are obtained from the primary colors by mixing them in appropriate proportions so here comes the concept of complementary or secondary color so when any two primary colors of equal intensity luminance they are mixed the resultant color which we get is the complementary color or the secondary color so the secondary colors which are normally uh, used or formed in in television they are yellow cyan and magenta so how they are formed red and green in of equal intensity gives us yellow green and blue in equal intensity they give us cyan blue and red give us magenta so the secondary color formation happens something like this red and blue gives us magenta which is more looking like a deep pink kind of a color then uh, blue and green it gives us cyan which is a greenish blue kind of a color and red and green they give us yellow the secondary colors so we can also understand it with the help of this uh, three circle the vein diagrams we, we can understand them so red green blue the three big circles they represent the three primary colors here there is a overlap between red and blue which gives us magenta here there is an overlap of red and green which gives us yellow and here there is a green and blue overlap which gives us cyan and here another important thing the when all these big circles they overlap here it gives us white okay it gives us white so red plus blue plus green it will give us white okay do not get confused with this all these constituents if we combine it it will be of the same nature but here red blue and green that will give us white this is the concept of additive mixing of colors then comes another concept which is the concept of subtractive mixing of colors so here it refers to the phenomena of some colors getting absorbed by an object when light is incident on it for example why this is the reason why we are able to see different objects with different colors you know otherwise everything will be will, will it, it, it will look as white it is because of these properties that we are able to see a red object as red a blue object as blue a green object as green the leaves as green roses as red the sky as blue and that's the reason why so when white light is incident on a blue object it absorbs the red and green colors okay and only the uh, blue light it reaches our eye getting reflected from it so that is the reason why the object appears as blue similarly when uh, when when light yellow light is incident suppose on a red object it will absorb the green color okay it will absorb the green color why because red plus green is yellow 
red plus green is yellow so when yellow light will be incident on an object on a green object it will uh, sorry on a red object it will absorb the green color and only the red light will reach the eyes suppose white light will uh, is incident on a red object it will absorb the blue and green colors and only the red light will be emitted that's why it will appear as red so depending on the atomic structure of the object certain wavelength radiations will be will get absorbed and certain radiations will get emitted or reflected back and that's why we see the colors as it is so subtracting mixing it happens like this suppose we subtract red from white white is exact uh, actually red plus blue plus green okay red plus blue plus green that is white so if we are subtracting red from white it actually means we are subtracting red from red plus blue plus green because white is this so if red is getting cancelled we have blue plus green blue plus green is cyan similarly if we are subtracting green from white it means red plus blue plus green minus green 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 gets cancelled red plus blue blue plus red is magenta if we are subtracting blue from white blue blue will get cancelled we have red and green green plus red is yellow so this is how subtractive mixing happens and uh, similarly white minus red minus green will give us blue white minus green minus blue will give us red white minus red minus blue will give us green and this is another important thing if we subtract red green and blue from white white is itself red green and blue white is itself red green and blue see white is red blue plus green so if we are subtracting red blue and green from it we will get black we will get the black color subtracting red green and blue from white will get black okay so all these additive mixing subtracting mixing are used in the picture tube to give us the various color characteristics to the picture frame so all these are very basic things we'll discuss all how it happens how the various things are utilized when we'll discuss we'll go to that section here i'm just giving you a basic idea so that when at that time we refer to these terms additive mixing subtractive mixing and all these colors will come up you don't get confused we can refer back to this video for uh, information or data related to that uh, topic so here we have discussed about some of the basic concepts related to colors uh, in television so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much